good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back once again with the anet et4x today my friends somebody said hey why don't you print a calibration cube so my friends let's get cracking so if you've never checked out the calibration cube it is simply 20 millimeters on the side has x y and z and it's a good way to see how accurate your printer is printing so i found mine on thingiverse and now let's bring it in to cura all right so when i click add file remember it was called the x y z and there is the calibration cube that i want it puts X this way and goes Y back the way it's supposed to be. And then it's time to pick your settings. Now, I usually do my extra fast, but for this, I'm actually going to choose normal. Let it go through and make its adjustments, and let's just double check them. Totally fine with the layer height, the line width, the wall thickness of two is great. Top and bottom thickness is great. Shows how many layers that's going to be. Happy with the 15%, happy with the grid temperature i was playing with the pet g i'm gonna drop this back down to my pla which is 200 my bed plate i'm gonna do 60 and my speed i'm gonna do 60 as well retraction is fine I'm gonna keep the fan speed still skirt four lines 10 and we're good to go so my friends this time instead of saving to the sd card i've got a wire plugged in and we're going to do it via usb that allows me down here to choose print via USB. And now, my friends, we can click the button and let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, let's slide her forward and pull her off the bed. And let's get some measurements to see how accurate we are. Alright, friends, so here is my digital caliper. First, we'll zero it out. And let's check X. nineteen point eight eight it's not bad got it in there pretty snug let's check z twenty point zero four that's pretty impressive and last but not least let's check y why because i said so and nineteen point five eight so a little bit further off on Y. But for what I'm doing, still pretty happy. Uh, I haven't tuned this at all. And, uh, you know, we're just rolling through it. And prints are coming out pretty darn sharp. Alrighty, friends. So I'm going to say that I'm pretty impressed with where this is now. I can still keep working on it, but that's not bad for right out of the box. I also want to say thank you quick to the user that said, hey, print the calibration cube. It is a great idea to find out just where your printer stands. And also, I want to send a huge shout out down to E in South Florida. I love what you're doing with 3D printing and trying to use it with the New Beginnings Ministries. You rock, my friend. Friends, if you found the video useful, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.